So Khabib, pretty dominant performance versus Dustin Poirier. Yeah. Love Dustin. I think Dustin's a great fighter. We did get pretty excited when Dustin rocked him a little bit. Yeah. I was like, oh, damn, this is about to happen, huh? Yeah, he caught him clean. But um, I don't know. I just kind of saw the grappling aspect going in that direction. So, And that being Khabib's thing. I mean, people could say, like, I know a lot of people say, oh, that fight with Connor was so one sided. Go watch the fight again. It really wasn't as one sided as people make it out to be. Connor won around in the fight, landed some strikes, and that was off of a huge layoff. So yeah. I'll throw Connor in there, Justin Gaethje, Tony Ferguson. And I'll even throw Ally Quinta in there. Even though he lost to Cowboy, I think that was an off night for Ally Quinta. I think you saw the first fight. If he comes in with a better training camp, he has a chance to land that punch that changes it. So, who beats Khabib? You didn't say Gregor. Uh, well, Gregor, I, honestly, with the timeline, Gregor might be, if unless he gets there in a year, I don't think Khabib's going to fight that long. I think Khabib... What else is Khabib going to do? Go for president? Nah, I've heard... Him, I heard that. I heard he could be president. I've heard him say it. he's going to retire young and he doesn't want to stick around for that long. So, I think two or three more fights probably. Wow. Yeah, I've heard him say it a few times. Like, the few interviews he's done, he said he's not going to stick around for this, you know, and, like, stick around in this game. So Go out on perfection. Yeah, I mean, would you? Now, hear me out, right? Let's say he fights three more times, retires. You know the whole, like, GSP aspect now? Like, GSP can fight almost anybody he wants. For almost as much money as he wants. Yeah. Because he's been out of the game so long. And Dana even like alluded to, yeah, maybe I'd take maybe I'd be open to that after this weekend. So he might it's a possibility. No, but like what I'm saying is let's say Khabib did a GSP move where like And just dipped out the game. Dipped out the game, but always flirted with ah, maybe I'll come back. Ah, not now. Yeah. You know? And he let's say he flirted with like that for three years. And everybody would be like, well, he's the greatest. Yeah. They want to see him come back, and he can get probably double whizzing now. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I love GSP, but I think the writing was even on the wall then. Like, the sport had caught up to him a little bit. Like, the Johnny Hendricks fight. Mm-hmm. Granted, Johnny Hendricks might have been on supplements or whatever, but that was a rough night for him. Yeah. That's one of those ones, actually. I, I was to- there. I need to go on MMA decisions and see how they scored that. But Dana White, because I was in the commentary for that one. I think I got a bonus of the night. He was like, he looked. The point of the GSP is like, you didn't win that fight. Really? Yeah. Why, you saw it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. He's like, I don't know what judges called this fight, but you did. He like looked at me like, you didn't win that fight. And I'm not going to say I don't agree with him. I feel like he. Got outworked and outlanded in that fight, but he was GSP. So, like, we talked right. about sometimes what are the judges judging? Right. Do they sometimes know the fighter? Judges like, wow. Are they a fan? Yeah. Yeah. I agree with all those things. Yeah. And that's fucked up. But, like, that's, like, something I always say with the judging. Like, oh, and people always be like, oh, no, it's the champion. Well, if there's some kind of point system. It's the champion. You got to take the belt from the champion. So, I'm supposed to judge the fight completely different than the actual judging defines because he's the champion. Like, if they had a stenographer... For fighting stenographer, stenographer, like this is a this is a one, like this is a two, and if I fucking maw you off you, that's three points. Yeah, a takedown's like five points, or I don't know, a takedown's ten points. Yeah, a get up is, you know, three points, and they had a score. So you'd have to have someone like, all right, that punch was a. But how do you? Yeah, how, a one. Who, who's punch. gonna judge that? Yeah, that guy was. That guy's still a judge. Yeah, who's gonna judge that? You almost need like ex fighters. Because I've I've heard of guys that know guys that are fighting, and they like kind of sway. Yeah. Oh, definitely. The, Especially the, the numbers of how that fight actually went towards the guy they want to win in the Northeast. Look at like I know Shaolin's a judge now. I think Ricardo Almeida was a judge for a minute, or maybe Dante Rivera. One of them were becoming a judge, and they were judging fights in Jersey. And I think what happens is they get excluded from that fight 
when they're guys in it. You know what I mean? But then even then, like if the guy I know lesser fights or if the guy's not on my team but he's trained at my gym before, can I still judge his fight? You know, right, shit like right, that. Right, right, yeah, right. it's a very, very slippery slope. 